What's good, family? Shout out to my doggy, Devil Dog 83 for boosting up your man the YB coin right now. <laughs> it's all kicking off, yeah? I told you, man, the other, da the other day, the AJ clone is, <laughs> yeah, this AJ CIA programming clone thing is malfunctioning. <laughs> 100%. He needs his code debugging. This guy tweaking all the way out is mad right now. It's super duper mad. I've got more videos coming soon, but you best believe this cat, Mr. Anthony, the Boogaloo <laughs> Johnson, big fluffy belly, have an ass. Yeah. <laughs> he, he tweaking right now. No doubt about it. Anyway, check this out. So, there I am, minding my own business, and I see this madness of a tweet come through. AJ replied to some next Donny, and you got to bear in mind as well, people. AJ has never been a person of the people, in as much as I can tell you for, for ten years, I haven't seen AJ ever really interact with no one. He's always acted a bit too bougie, yeah. And he even kind of alluded to that in his last one the other day. Oh, I don't normally, I don't normally speak unless I'm getting paid, and I'm used to getting paid a whole bags of money and. That's why you looked as that's why you're funny style, <laughs> yeah. That's why people look hundred percent. That's why you no one really has no loyalty for you. Because you're a, one of them ones. Hundred percent. You're a big cow big cabal puppet looking ass. You understand? And I find it odd. This always happens, always happens. In fact, see again, it's like when he lost to Ruiz, guess what? He went straight to Nigeria. It's I don't know, but I ain't never seen the guy there ever. Oh, I've seen him there, hanging with all the billionaires' daughters and whatnot, but I've never... Like, AJ lost to Ruiz, yeah? He flew to Nigeria, all of a sudden, he walking through the townships. It's like, what? You was with that next billionaire chick, that next oligarch thing. Some next Nigerian oligarch who teeth off all the resources. <laughs> That's what you was doing. Oh, I'm in Dubai with Cuppy. Some next billionaire's daughter, and yeah, yeah. And next thing you know, you lose. Uh, Cuppy weren't on your lot no more, was she? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> next, thing, next thing we know, he's in the township. Try that like Muhammad Ali. Do you know what I'm saying? And this is the same kind of stuff anyway. So, before, like I said, AJ was all too too good for this kind of stuff. Now he in the thick of it trying to raise... Listen, he down bad. <laughs> he, he going all the way through it. AJ's trying to, trying to get fans one by one. Because you can best believe, obviously, when someone gets a tweet from AJ, they think, oh, AJ's down that bad. I reckon Eddie Hearns told him. Eddie Hearns told him, listen, AJ, man. We ain't going to sell no tickets. So you best go door to door. Knocking on doors trying to sell these tickets. Because ain't no one trying to watch you have another sparring session again. Anyway. That's the background. So like I said. Some next general tweeted AJ and said. AJ lad. Did you give Mrs Khan the pork? Back in the day. Yeah. Did you give Miss Khan the good old wick? The good old, a good old wicken? Back in the day. AJ replied and said. Honestly I didn't. But with all the accusations around me. Around my name, I wish I did. <laughs> now, for people who don't know, back in, I think 2017 it was. Back in 2017, your man's Amir Khan. He went, here's another one. Amir Khan's another deep CIA um, psyop plant. Because he ended up tweaking out as well. His code, his code bugged all the way out, 100%. Yeah, and he came out in 2017. Um, Khan and his wife split up. And Khan was on Instagram live. Multiple times a day, airing out Anthony Johnson saying, hey, AJ, you've been giving my missus the pork. Yeah, she's Muslim, but you still gave her the pork anyway. All this kind of stuff, 100%. That's what she said. Yeah. <laughs> she was, <laughs> she, she, he, Amir Khan said, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. You've been, far you, my wife's been Muslim for a whole life. But then AJ come along, all of a sudden she want pork. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> That's 100%. I'm just telling you. Yeah. Amir Khan was saying, oh. Uh, I don't understand it. She'd never take she'd never take pork with me, but now she want all of AJ pork. Yeah, she want the pork all up inside her. That's what she said. I'm just telling you. That's what that's what, that's what Amir Khan Amir Khan was a legend. That the reason their marriage had broken down was because AJ had given her the deep fried porky thing all up in all up inside one of them ones. Not good. And also Amir Khan was a legend that one of his daughters or something like that was allegedly AJ's. Do you know what I'm saying? It was, it was a madness. It was a true madness. Um, so them allegations got put out there. AJ shut them all down, obviously. Now, at the time, I did videos on it, not on this channel, my other channel. And 
I mean, I don't know. It was it was different times back then. Yeah, AJ may AJ may have actually slayed back then. Now he ain't slaying nothing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what he ain't doing. Apart from man, <laughs> no, give me, yeah. The, the only t the only people AJ's. That's what I think. Back in the, I remember when AJ was linked with Storms's girl, who was linked with Amir Khan. AJ linked with man now. <laughs> Oops, hundred <laughs> percent. And that's what AJ's saying here. AJ's saying here. With all the accusations around my name, i.e. with all the things the YB telling you, man, about me, about about me and Fernando, yeah, about me and all these zesty characters, I've got a video coming soon, what's that zesty new, there's, there's, some, there's some next zesty new boxer in the game, um, I forgot his name, but he, he, tra he also trains under Fernando Alonso, yeah, and he had a video just come out, and he's twerking, throwing it back. Throwing it back for a nick. This is, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. You'd think you'd think in the world, yeah, the one safe place, the one safe place from zestiness would be boxing. But anyway, back to this thing, back to the AJ thing. So what AJ's saying here is, with all the accusations around my name, he wishes he did lay the pork with Fayul, because then it would give him the down low cover he requires. Now, I believe AJ back in... Now, for me, yeah, AJ's never been linked with no women, has he? Let's be real now. Oops. <laughs> yeah. a bit like, it's a bit like Lennox Lewis. I'm going to tell you what it is. And it's not like, it's not like AJ's Dillian White with big udder nipples. <laughs> yeah. AJ, I know, but uh, uh, 90, uh, 50% of gal, unless they're racist, yeah, every single gal would want the pork from AJ. But you don't see him with no gal, do you? It don't matter. But what we do know is, you see him with a whole bag of man. And that's what he's, AJ's saying here, that with all the accusations... With all the man I'm pictured with, with all my zesty behaviour, I wish I did give her the pork, because then there'd be less heat on my name. And I believe the whole reason AJ had a son, if it is even his, yeah? If it is even his, that was an Eddie Hearn contraption. Eddie Hearn told AJ, AJ, we best get this down low thing covered, because it's not the right look. Even though, and that's the thing, I've told you before, the Kelly Maloney coming soon. <laughs> yeah? Kelly Mal the Kelly Maloney news drop is coming, to a, is coming to a newspaper near you. There's no doubt about that. Tw by, by 2025, you'll see Mr. Johnston, number one CIA my, psyop ting. Yeah? Coming out, oh, my name AJ, I'm big and I want to show the world that everyone can, even if you're, even if you're as big as me, you can still... You know what I mean? You can still be a woman on the inside. That's what they want you to do, yeah? The government wants everyone to just turn over and have their belly tickled. And that's what AJ's gonna, that's what AJ gonna show the world. No matter how big you are, yeah, when the cabal get to you, you roll over. And that belly, get your belly out. <laughs> yeah, one of them ones. No, no doubt about it. Now, the other side of things you could say, he's, in, he's saying, oh, honestly, I didn't give it a pork. But with all the accusations around me, around my name, I wish I did. So is he saying the accusations that he on the down low with Dillian White, yeah? Because you got Dillian on the down low White, yeah. You got Anthony on the on the down low Johnston. Um, so is he is he saying that? Oh, I wish I if I was linked if I if I was known to be giving more women the pork, then the YB wouldn't be on here talking about I'm on some next down low thing with my trainer Fernando. Do you know what I'm saying? Or is he saying? The accusations of Mir Khan put out there, he wishes that he had done it so that... I'm not sure, that, that even, that's what I'm saying, that doesn't even make sense. It doesn't even make sense. With all the accusations of Mir Khan put out there, I wish I did. Uh, I guess maybe he's saying, well, if I had done it, maybe it was better I did it so that... I don't know what he's saying. That's what I'm saying. It's the first one for me. Yeah, he he, he want out. He want he wants some narratives out there to keep his down low cover. That's what he want right now. Hundred percent. He's thinking, damn, man, YB would never have I've got. Trust me, I got a video coming soon. There's a video of there's some pictures of AJ and his coach hugging, and AJ looked like he's crying. And I reckon he just heard the YB video exposing the fact that. Him and Fernando have got some neck zesty thing going on. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what he's saying. He, AJ saying here, with all the things the YB, with all the expose the YB put out about me and my down low coach, me and my coach on the down low, I wish I had given the pork. Because then the YB would have been off the scent. That's what he's saying. No doubt about it. Yeah. And it's the thing. A few years ago, I would have told you. Back in 2015, I'd have told you. AJ, 100%. He slayed. 
he slayed the Khan's wife. There's no smoke without fire. But now at these times, he ain't got it in him. <laughs> yeah, he too not. <laughs> he too friendly. That's the truth. The truth is, AJ. No, I'm, I'm under no illusions. I actually believes. I actually believe Amir Khan's wife stuck it all over AJ. But he too. He too friendly. Yeah, she wanted to, she wanted the wick, and he wanted to just be friends. <laughs> That's what happened. And I, I ain't gonna lie to you, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, but with some with AJ, yeah. As far as being, as far as being black goes, yeah. There ain't no higher ticket than AJ. You understand? He tall. He got money. He good looking. So with all them things, he ticked all the boxes, and but yet. All you see him with is man. It's not, it, don't, it don't add up, does it? It's mad. What you see him with is a whole bag of man. It's like, what the It don't make no sense. I remember, like, for example, back in the day, you had Nigel Benn, and, and they was ugly as well. <laughs> Let's be real now, they ugly. Yeah? <laughs> Chris Eubank, ugly. <laughs> you see you're ugly. It's Nigel ugly. <laughs> I'm just telling you what it is. <laughs> I'm one of them ones. But still, you saw him with Nufgyal. Yeah? Babies all over the place. AJ, he... He, man, yeah, you see, that's yeah, so what you'll be seeing with man. <laughs> same, same as Dillian White. Just back, just man. Oh, oh, you know I mean? <laughs> back in the nineties, yeah, all you saw was a hot, different woman every week, and rightfully so. That's what you're supposed to do when you're getting it like that. Yeah, ugly or not, when you got the coin and you got the clout, you're supposed to be getting it in every week, hundred percent. But these cats these days, all you're seeing with is surrounded with man. Who were doing suspect things like changing their second names to uh, yeah, whole bunch of suspect. But I've never seen nothing like it. Show me the show me the cat yeah, who was walking around with Nigel Ben who changed his name to Ben. Oops, you ain't seen that one. I ain't seen that one either. That's the bottom line here. I don't know what happened in the last twenty five years. The game has been f f Kelly Maloney'd. Oops, yeah, hundred percent. That's what it has. That's what it has been. It's been Kelly Maloney'd, and AJ he under pressure right now. Yeah, he, he out there, and I reckon he, he's almost, because, really, if AJ wasn't going through it, he wouldn't put this out there again. AJ didn't like this at the time. It made it awkward for him. Yeah? It made it, it was super awkward for him. But the fact is, the fact is bringing this up again now. He know AJ knows. He knows this ain't gonna, he knows this is gonna make newspapers, doesn't he? Talking about Amir Khan's wife is at his peak. I wish I, I'm, like... I think he's that desperate now for some sort of, some sort of clout out there. Do you understand? He's that down bad. Oh, if I put, if I talk about America, that was a big hype. It was. Back in 2017, that was probably the biggest thing going. And the fact he's, oh yeah, I wish I, with all the accusations around me, I wish I did give it up. I wish I, I wish I did, I wish I did wick her down. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I did pork her down. That's what he said, 100%. <laughs> but it's bad for AJ right now. He's going through it. That's the bottom line. That's the only thing you can take from this, yeah. Is that whatever way you look at it, whether he trying to, whether he on the DL, whether he this, whether he that, this ain't the same guy that was, that's for sure. This guy, he tweaked out, in my opinion. In fact, I mean, where's this con where was that conversation going? Think about it. I bet people have been tweeting AJ for the, since time began about this subject. Why now? And I think Eddie Hearns told him, AJ, like I said, you ain't selling no tickets. Fury shut down the whole Wembley. You best get out there now and start trying to drum up some controversy. And this is what I told you, man. I wor worried that AJ, we know he loves coin. We know he don't have the bottle no more. And I worried that he's just going to go full collect coin mode. Yeah? And just turn into WWE. Just because he knows it's going to generate more coin. And that's what I believe the phase he's gone into now. He'll still be useless in the ring. But I think he's going... You think I thinking listen i love coin so much i can't just go up because the best thing if i was if i was advising aj yeah his best thing to do is now maybe fight a few more bums and try and get some ko's and then retire at least then you can say what maybe could have been what you don't want to do is savage some legacy and sa savage some or salvage something don't go out don't get washed by music again don't get washed by fury don't let me don't let everyone have a go on you because your legacy will be i mean don't get me wrong i'm sure all the aj man fans oh but why be he beat a 50 year old klitsch cohen he beat a 50 year old pool evan but why be what about the, but, but why be what about all the 50 year olds he be that's what you man will be doing 100 percent. but why be he beat a lot of, why be how you're so rude he beat all the 50 year olds <laughs>
<laughs> That's what they say as well. It's mad. Honestly, the AJ Man fans are something else. But why be a lion? So what if he loses to everyone his own age? He beat all the 50. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead. That's a fact. That's the f facts are. Every time AJ stepped up against someone his own age, his wig went flinging off into the air. No matter how bad they were, Mr. Blobby, wig comes off. Middleweight, wig comes off. No shame. Yeah? And I wouldn't mind, but the fact I put my coin up as well. I put my coin up. I put a bag up. And that's... I'm broke. <laughs> yeah, I'm broke as a joke. I put a bag up on the basis that Mr. AJ would have enough pride and would have enough shame not to go out like a wet fart against the middleweight. That's what I thought. Yeah? Literally, before I put the bet on you, I thought, wait there a minute. I, heard, I, remember, I remember hearing Sean Porter telling us about how he was at 140 pound and he was putting weights in his boots and still rocked you sick. I thought, wait there a minute. If Mr. B level 140 pound Sean Porter can go in there with weights in his shorts and give you sick the hands, you best believe Mr. Africanules, yeah, Mr. Promethean Goo wannabe ass, is going to go in there and put a good show on. Oops. Yeah? No coin. And my man after the fight telling us about, oh, I hope the fans are excited with that performance. And yeah, I, I really enjoy putting a show on for the fans. What the f- What's this guy? <laughs> and that's the problem, you see. From his point of view, he's thinking, well, I've just made 30 mil for a sparring session. So of course he's buzzing. Why wouldn't he be, why wouldn't he be buzzing? If I just made 30 mil for not doing a lot, I'll be gassed as well. <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if I, <laughs> who wouldn't be gassed after getting a 30 mil sparring session? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, listen. Johnston. It's kind of, I can't lie to you, it's kind of peak for me, it can't. I feel for me, it can't. Yeah, and this shows you, to some extent, AJ's character, in as much as, from a man to another man, AJ has put, and I'm not saying, listen, end of the day, yeah, Khan made all the accusations. So, at that point, Khan's put it out there into the universe. So, anything that does happen that's after that, that's on him, ultimately. But, putting that to one side, it shows you AJ's character, because all these years, five years, you ain't mentioned nothing about it. I wouldn't mind if every now and then, AJ kind of dropped some jokes about it or whatever. That would be whatever it was. But the fact that we ain't, heard, we ain't heard nothing about it, and now all of a sudden, you're down bad. And you want to be cracking kind of jokes and, you know what I mean, twisting a knife in. Knowing that, oh, it's going to get me some clout right now. It's going to get my name ringing in the streets again. You should have been saying, if you, I mean, if you're going to drop these kind of lyrics, AJ should have come out at the time and said, listen. You know what I'm saying? I'd, I'd have rated that more. If AJ, when these allegations came out, AJ should have come out and said, listen, what can I say? Yeah, what can I say? I'm a good looking Donny. Yeah, I'm, I'm good looking. I'm tall and I'm rich. What can I say? <laughs> yeah, Khan says, Khan says, Khan says, I smashed his wife. What can I say? Yeah, I'm six foot. End of the day, yeah, he four foot. I'm six foot five. It's one. I'm the champ of the world. It's one of them ones. That's what it's, it's the way the world works. Yeah. Oops. That's what he should have said. And I'd have rated him for that. But guess what? He came out. Oh no, no, it weren't me. Yeah? No, no, I weren't me, I was with man. <laughs> That's what he said. Boogaloo the bear came out. Oh, no, no, it couldn't have been, it couldn't have been me, because I was with Fernando all night that weekend. <laughs> That's what he said, I'm telling you now. He came out and shut it down. No, no, I was with this man. Oh, no, no, it couldn't have been me, because I was with this man that night, and I was with the other man on that night. Yeah? I was doing some poppers on this night. <laughs> That's what he started saying. So, listen. It's bad for AJ. It's bad for him right now. Oh, but why be? He's got coin. And but why be? You know I me. Mean? But why be? But, <laughs> but why be? He got coin. And but why be? He beat fifty-year-olds. He loved. But why be? He always beat the fifty-year-olds he fights. And listen, I'm just telling you what it is. Yeah, this guy, he unhinged right now. The things he's doing don't make no sense. Especially when I show you some more videos coming soon. Coming to a channel near you. You best believe it as well. No doubt.